Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Let Us Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your new moon mini reading. Okay, let me stress that again because there's always someone that thinks this is a full reading. This is not a full reading. This is simply just a check-in because it is time to set your intentions. Okay, and so as we go in to set out our, our uh, new moon intentions, I'll always try to give you a tap into spirit to see what areas are coming up for you, okay? Now, if you don't know how to set your intentions, there will be a link below that takes you right to the video and showing you how to set these intentions. You guys, this is such an important time. Every new moon and every full moon is so important that we are intentional in documenting what we want, seeds that we want to begin to lay so they can sprout, you know, good good harvest in our life, okay? A good harvest in our life. So today's reading can be applied to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus signs. Do keep in mind that these energies may flip-flop, okay? So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. You could even uh, find information that's surrounding you that I'll pick up on, okay? Also keep in mind that... Um, we're, we're gauging this energy for the new moon, but you may hear something that happened months ago, something that's going on right now, or something that may be coming in for you in the near future. You guys follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. I am going live again, but I'm going live at different times. It's just when I'm finding a space in my day that I can come out here and do some personal readings for you, um, I'm doing it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that, um, that bell and make sure you put notifications, okay, so you'll be notified. Um, <clears throat> also, don't forget we have a Patreon. So if you want to see all the extendants, they're over on our Patreon. Patreon, Very good, uh, good investment for you, you guys, because it just makes you go a lot deeper. Okay. Now, if you want to know about this new moon that's in Aquarius, just let your reading play a little while. And um, that's going to be towards the end of the reading. Okay. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Taurus. Okay, I'm doing things a little differently, you guys. I am doing it by the amount of views that your sign got. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You knocked it out of the box for the last new moon that we had. All right, in Capricorn. So now it is your time for February being number one. So let's just see what's coming out for our for the sign of Taurus. Holy Spirit, divine creator, universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the new moon in Aquarius on February 11, 2020. Messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus. What do I Taurus need to know? What messages? Thank you. Holy Spirit, I create the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the new moon on February 11, 2021. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Spirit divine creator of the universe, the messages need to go forth. Let's move these over here. The messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the new moon occurring on February 11, 2021. The messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus. Spirit of my creative universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the, uh, the new moons, the new moon occurring on February 11, 2020. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit of my creative universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the new moon occurring on February 11, 2020. What messages need to go for for the sign of Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Ooh. Goodness. 
<laughs> Listen, you guys are doing a lot of talking. Yes, a lot of talking. All right, so let's see what is going on with the Taurus gang. Let me fix these up because you guys know I am anal about when they're not in order. All right, we are ready. First card out, chemistry, okay? There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And you guys, make sure you check out uh, my lives because I did Taurus last night, I think, or uh, whatever you're watching this. I think it was done on on Tuesday. So pull up Tuesdays. And um, something really came out about your true love. But there's a strong magnetic attraction here. It's a very strong magnetic attraction here. So let's just keep unpacking this to see where, see where it's going. Positive energy. Yes. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Because apparently you have chemistry with someone, but it has to stay on a positive note. It has to be at a positive level. Playtime. Oh, I love this card. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations. Spirit is saying, have a good time. Valentine's Day is coming up this weekend as well in the USA. So this is a time for play. You got chemistry with somebody. Make sure you're tapping into that positive energy as you're setting your intentions. It just seems like things are all, yes, new beginnings and fresh start. Take this energy, and I'm telling you, you all's readings have been so good. Every last reading that I've done for you, Especially, that, I think, that love forecast reading. Go back and look at all of the previous readings for Taurus. You all are really in a great, not you all, we all are in a very great space. And don't forget, because Uranus is in our sign right now, be gentle with yourself. So that means when it's time to rest, Taurus, rest. When it's time to take it easy, take it easy, because we can be workaholics, okay? But it looks like this is a very great beginning for you, new beginning, fresh start, and something that you're doing is positive energy. Spirit is telling you, remind yourself to have that play time. Look, because everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. So if there's anything you wor you're worrying about, Spirit, say, look, it's okay. See, the hand, her hand's raised. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's all working out in a beautiful way. Just don't stress yourself. Okay, vegetarian. Okay, a new way of eating gives you more energy, greater health, clarity, and stronger manifestation abilities. When this card comes out, sometimes um, it means to me that you need to go through a detox, and that's what I'm picking up this time. So you may need to go to, through some type of uh, uh, detox of your body, maybe a liquid fast, just something to kind of purge you and clean you out, okay? And so you might want to consider that. You might want to consider just... Um, you know, doing some type of maybe smoothie diet or something, again, to flush your system. That's what I'm feeling. You need to flush your system. Uh, see, improving health. You can't make it up. I tell people all the time, you cannot make it, make it up. Focus on a detox right now, Taurus. You need to detox yourself, okay? Because um, there's something better, okay? And it's always something better because you guys, listen, you got this new beginning and fresh start. Just don't worry about anything. Oh, my God. I cannot make this up. Big happy changes. You guys, you cannot make this up. Oh, my God. And romance. Woo. There's something better. What? Big happy changes. Romance is here. It, it doesn't get any better than this. You all's readings have been phenomenal. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Taurus, for supporting a fellow Taurian, okay? You guys, but go and check out those other readings if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to give us a thumbs, a thumbs up. And also hit that notification bell for me, for me, for me. I love you guys so much. Until next time. Bye-bye. Hello, you guys. Okay, this is just a little information about this new moon in Aquarius, okay? So, um, it, with the new moon in Aquarius, this is kind of giving us this forward thinking, okay? So, Aquarius kind, kind of pushes us in a forward motion. Now, this new moon will be rolling in on February 11th, okay? Um, this is a very powerful illumination because it is part of a very rare uh, stellium in Aquarius. So what does that mean? That means that the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, and asteroid Pallas will all be clustered together in the sign of Aquarius. <laughs> That's a lot, you guys. <laughs> That's a lot of Aquarius energy to work with. So if you want to use this potent cosmic moment to your advantage, do yourself a favor. And let's just really hone in on, you know, some of the do's and don'ts of this uh, 
this this event that's about to come up in with this new moon. So now new moons in astrology, they're generally a good time to start new projects or set your personal intentions as we know. And because of this lunation, how it takes place in this fixed air sign of Aquarius, you know, of course, alongside so many other important planets at this, at this time, it's charging up our goals with an innovative and unconventional flair. And this is a great, great time to get inventive and, you know, break out of your usual box where it comes to new ideas. You know, these planets, they're kind of painting a, a picture for us, you know, under the darkness of this new moon. So you'll want to make the most of it. Okay, so let's just talk about some of the things that you should do. You need to focus on your future right now. You know, this is a time to really get focused on what you want to accomplish through this next chapter of your life. It's a great time to get creative and make, you know, a vision board or, you know, or a manifestation list to help make your five-year plan um, realistic for you. Um, and don't worry about what's normal. You know, come outside of the box. You know, come outside of the norm. Try to follow what feels good in your heart, even if it takes you in an unexpected direction. Just, you know, just come outside of that norm of what you're used to doing and try things in an unconventional way. This is what Aquarius is. Aquarius, Aquarius is an innovate, it is a very innovative sign, okay? So they, they really, really um, have their own approach in doing things. They're unco they do it in a very unconventional way. And so take on this energy and use it for your good. You know, don't shy away from, you know, your uniqueness. This is the time to really come forth on, and really um, being comfortable with your unique parts, okay? And really, you know, shining a spotlight on those things that make you different from other people. Even though it may be challenging to face, there actually are gifts, you know, the things that make you different. So make sure you, uh, you know, hone into that and look at your goals from a new perspective. You know, the airy new moon gives us a beautiful opportunity to kind of step back from our current uh, traje trajectory and allow others to uh, take more of an objective point of view. It's easy to miss the big picture, you know, when you're caught up in the grind, grind every day, especially when you're caught up in your emotions, you know, but when you're caught up, you know, trying to gold crush and, you know, you know, switch up, you know, your perspective from time to time, sometimes this area can be missed. So again, this will be especially a helpful time, especially with Mercury retrograde right now in full swing. This would be a time to really look at your goals from another perspective, okay? Use this energy and make it work for you. All right, my loves, that's all. Oh, and don't forget to set your intentions around love, right? And money. You know, be specific in that. I didn't want to miss, miss that because those are very important. All right, you guys, thank you so much. And hey, I'll catch you on the next new moon. Bye-bye.